Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today we're going to make pigs of ourselves. So I'll tell you a little story. When Matt Zion and I had gone to the LA County Fair preview, we spoke with, we were calling him Chicken Gerald, probably has a real last name, and we were asking about fried food. And so he kind of goaded us on in bringing something down. He says, bring something down, whatever you bring down, I'll fry, fry it for you. So we actually did bring something down uh, for the fair itself. And unfortunately, we met with Tony, who's the manager, and Tony told us that he unfortunately couldn't put something else in the fryer. And I completely understand, because the Board of Health would have issues with you just sticking anything in the fryer. Um, I appreciate uh, Gerald's humor as far as telling us that he would entertain our notion about frying things. But what we had brought down was this. This is pig's feet, pickled pig's feet, or to be specific, brined pig's feet. And you can find this at most grocery stores. You don't have to go to a Latin American grocery store. Uh, my Italian American mother used to make these on the stove. She used to cook the pig's feet, she used to pickle them in vinegar and, um, and eat them, and we never thought anything of it. But, uh, but these are brined and they're ready to eat. So we're gonna do this three ways. We're going to do what Gerald had suggested comically, that he, was, he would fry whatever we brought down, and we're going to fry them. So I'm gonna fry, I'm gonna do this three ways. One is, we're gonna eat it right out of the jar, because that's how they're meant to be eaten. Uh, two, we're going to just fry it as is, because I'm thinking that it has the pig skin on it, that skin will become chicharron, and um, it'll be a nice hot snack. And the third way is I'm going to roll it in breadcrumbs and do it like fried chicken style. Uh, I'm gonna dip it in some milk, and this is oat milk. And you may be asking yourself, why am I using oat milk? Oat milk, it's oat milk. It just seems like a fun thing to do. You know, uh, I have nipples, Greg, can you milk me? So we're going to use oat milk and uh, panko breadcrumbs, and we're gonna see if we can do this. So we're gonna do, have, do it three ways. One right out of the jar, one just fried, and one with the panko breadcrumbs and the oat milk. Now, uh, I'm gonna put this on top of it when I fry it, and the reason is that these are packed in brine, which is salt water, and if you know anything about oil and water, they don't play well together. And so I'm expecting this oil volcano. This is a fry daddy, which is electric, which is a good thing. Uh, if I was using a gas fryer, I'd run the risk that that oil spatters everywhere, catches fire, and then you know causes this big flaming volcano, which we don't want. So I'm, I'm gonna kind of put this over there just to make sure. And I'm gonna try to get some of the water out of it before I fry it, so. Go ahead and open this up. And uh, take a look here. There's a lot of bones in here, so you have to do some uh, creative chewing on these to get them out. So um, here's our pig's foot. Pig's foot, yeah, pig's foot. And we're gonna do that one as is. So the second one, I think we're gonna just fry. That looks like a nice big piece. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just kind of squeeze a little bit in this towel to get some of the moisture out of it. So it doesn't pop, spatter everywhere. I think that's good. That should work. Then we're gonna do our panko breadcrumb. So we're dipping the oat milk, dipping the breadcrumbs. I'm gonna let that sit in the breadcrumbs for a little bit until we're ready to cook that. And we'll get started. So first I'm gonna start with just the, the piece that we're gonna fry as is. Ready? Not too bad. There's a lot of bubbling taking place there. But I think our lid is helping. I don't know if you can tell from that angle, but we're getting all kinds of oil spatter on the inside of that lid, which would normally be going all over the place. So I think that's a good thing. Hopefully get a nice 
practically eat chicharrones. That's kind of what I was talking about. This could be our last episode. And they're already cooked all the way through, so it doesn't take very long in here, I would imagine. Just enough to get it crispy. Let's see how it's doing. Skin ripped off. a little bit longer. The water bubbles seem to be subsiding. That's probably going to be good enough. Now let's put in our panko breaded one. We're doing good so far, we haven't killed ourselves. Let's check on this one. I think this one might pop at us again. Ooh, that's nice and golden brown, I like that. But it looks like all the panko bread breading came off of it. Oh well. well there's still some on there. Okie doke, here we go. So um, here is our one right out of the jar. Here is our deep fried one. And here is our panko breaded one with the oat milk. So this shouldn't be any surprise here. No. Standard pig's feet. If you're familiar with trying to eat chicken feet, trying to work your way around those bones. It's very similar to that. So it's hard to find a lot of meat on here. But it has that salty, briny taste. It just reminds me of when I was a kid. So, you know, it's in a jar, what can you say? So now let's try for just a regular crispy one. And it's not that crispy. I was expecting the skin to be like cheech around, but it's really not. That is not crunchy at all. Or maybe I should have left it in longer. But the thing is, it did cook a little bit, and the heat really changes the flavor of this. You, get, you still get that saltiness from the brine. And it's still a lot of work. But you also get that kind of chicharron pork belly taste, which is kind of nice. So yeah, that one, that one came out pretty good. Might work that or off the bone later. Now let's try our panko bread one. And this one is incredibly moist. This just Juicy. I would think that that would crisp up and, and you know be kind of rigid, but it's not. Nice crunchy crust. This one mutes the salinity, the saltiness of the brine a little bit. That panko crust, really nice. It's warm and soft. Juicy. I like that. Mm. Now, to be fair, this is a difficult thing to serve at the fair anyways. Because you've got all these bones to contend with. But it was a fun idea. We appreciate Gerald for letting us think we could bring something down and try. We understand that you can. But this actually turned out pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and give all three of these a thumbs up. Um, doing them different ways completely changes the texture. Again, 
you have that briny saltiness underneath it. Um, really nice pork flavor. The uh, panko bread crumbs and oat milk kind of add some flavor to it. So yeah, big thumbs up. You ever get around to it? I suggest trying some, deep frying some pig's feet. But again, be careful because of the moisture content hitting that oil everywhere. So uh, yeah, big thumbs up on this. We tried it, you can try it too, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.